Liza Colby. I'm cooperating. Why can't I be released? Well, the first time you cooperated, you gave a false confession to protect the ex-wife who is now being held for Stewart's murder. And I'm sure you can see how the DA might, I don't know, be a little leery of your new cooperation. I told him the truth. Which didn't help Kendall's case. This guy North is ambitious. He's going to run with this until she's put away for life. I did what I did so I could get out of here and find the real killer before Kendall's trial starts. I don't need any more trouble from you, Slater. No trouble. The headlines say they got their part. So as far as police is concerned, this case is closed. This case is closed after I've run down every possible lead and spoke to everybody that was on that property that night. Thank you. You're a lucky man. You are free to go. Zach and Liza? Mm hmm. Now this makes perfect sense. Obviously, that's why Liza had you arrested. I think that's a little bit of a stretch. Hardly. Liza lied to the police to get Kendall out of the way so that she could have Zach all to herself. Well, I'm not stopping her. But obviously there is a connection between you and Zach, and, and she sees that. I got a meeting. Um, I'm going to get going. I'll call you later, okay? Ryan, we're okay, aren't we? Yeah, we're good. We're good. I'm glad he's feeling better. Look, it can't possibly be a coincidence that Liza Colby just happened to pop back into town just exactly when someone tries to kill Adam. Mom, I just don't see Liza as a killer. Are you kidding? Of course she's the killer. Look, she, she, she lost her daughter Colby to Adam, which means that Adam won, and Liza hates it when Adam wins. All that has to be done is that a gun has to be put in Liza Colby's hand. Okay, well, how do we do that? Well, you are not going to do anything, honey. You have got your hands full here. You've got plenty to do right here. But I am going to do what the police obviously can't do. I'm going to find the evidence that really nails Liza as the killer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, I'm looking for uh, Dr. Jake Martin. He's not in his office. I believe he's somewhere on this floor. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're out. Your eyewitness account got Kendall arrested. Listen, I recanted my statement. I, I didn't think that they would arrest her. I'm not going to expose your belly to the world. Thank you. Listen, if there's, if there's anything that I can do You've for done you. enough, I think. Son, I'm never going to leave you. Liza recanted all the incriminating stuff that she said about Ken. Yes, but unfortunately, she had said it already. So where does that lead me? Well, you lied to protect Kendall, but Kendall admitted that you were with her when the shots were fired. So that makes her look even more guilty. Yes. Jack, they can't put me on the stand. Sure, they okay? can. And they will, I guarantee it. There's got to be another way I have to be able to protect her, which is why I need to do something, why I can't just sit back and watch, okay, and feel helpless again, even if I have to lie. No, Jack. No, no, Ryan, perjury's not the answer. Finding the real killer is the yeah, answer. Yeah, pray we find whoever it is in a hurry. I'm going to do a lot more than pray. Okay, I'm going to tell you two things. I want you to listen to me. Number one, don't do anything crazy. But number two... If we don't find whoever killed Stewart, Kendall could go to prison. You look good. You've grown. I'm gonna let you sleep on me till later. I'm glad you're out. I'm gonna find whoever killed Stewart. I won't let you go to prison. I was so close to pulling that trigger. But you didn't. If I do go to prison... You won't. 
Ian needs his mom. Is the baby Zach's? No, any other questions? Yeah, I do, actually. Why did you give up Kendall like that? I told the truth. And listen, I never meant to hurt Kendall. And I would do anything to avoid testifying. But what am I going to do? Huh? Leave town? That would only make things worse. Things can't get much worse right now. Kendall is innocent, and you and I are both lined to testify against her. And it's killing you that you can't do anything about it. The district attorney is convinced that I killed Stuart. I'm going to unconvince him. Well, what if you can't, Zach? What if they never find out who really killed Stuart? You're going to have to testify against me. You are. This, the, the pact that, that we made to kill Adam and you seeing me with the gun pointed at him? There's a way around that. To protect you. Spouses can't testify against each other. What are you talking about? Mary's a 